Hello everyone and welcome to The Hype Productions. Guys, in this video we are going to create an amazing bomb blast effect on 3D Studio Max without any plugin. So let's get it started. First of all, I have a 3D Studio Max viewport as you can see and I'm going to import merge one of my object which is called barrel. I have already downloaded this barrel so you can get link in the description from uh, where I have downloaded. So I'm going, just going to adjust throughout the scaling throughout the position as a viewport. So uh, furthermore, I'm going to go to the render settings and I will uh, take my render setting as a scan line render which is called a default because I have already told you that we are going to do this without any plugin. In the material editor, I'm going to get the new material which is called a standard material. And uh, I'll go to the standard legacy. After that, I'm just going to select this object and assign. Go to the diffuse none and select bitmap. And after that, just call this texture which is on the barrel. So uh, this thing I have already completed, uh, but unfortunately I have to rotate this barrel because it is not on perfect. I think this one, this position is good. Okay, so moving toward our next step is we need to create this bomb blast and uh, we have to blast this object. So I'm gonna go to the space web and I will select geometrical deformer. In that geometric, I will find out bomb. So I'm gonna just click the bomb uh, between this object. But there's nothing happen. I'm just trying to play in the timeline, but nothing is happening. I'm gonna go to the linking object. It's called the blank to space bar. I'm going to click and drag this on the barrel. Now it is already connected. So you can see when I will play this timeline. So this is actually getting blast and as well it is going to down but we have to recreate or retreat this bomb blast. I'm gonna to go to the modify panel and I will find out strength first. That strength will help you to measure that how much blast will take the place. So we just need to play with some settings and just need to give some ideas and some pieces, some strength that how much a bomb blast can take place. So I'm playing with this gravity. Gravity is uh, just going to okay so you can see these settings we have already created this beautiful bomb blast okay so furthermore what we will have to do i'm just going to select my system go to the i'm sorry i'm gonna go to the emotions and uh, i will find out sorry helper and i will find out atmospheric apparatus in that atmospheric, I'm gonna go to the sphere gizmo. Sphere gizmo, I'm gonna assign or drag my mouse in this object properly. So you can find out this is sphere gizmo. I'm gonna take the render, but nothing is happening in the render. So what is my next step? My next step is just to add fire effect. When I will add the fire effect, uh, so let me see the render. There's a little fire inside of this drum or instead of this barrel. So I'm gonna increase radius. Let's see the render. Now the fire is getting increased. The size of fire is increased. More increase, let's see what happened. So I'm gonna make, okay. With some bomb blast. Okay, more, more. I think this is actually incorrect because uh, for me there is no fire, it has to be smoke as well. So I'm going to go to the environment and select fire effect, go down and find out explosion. This is my explosion. When I will select this explosion, so a smoke will automatically select it. Go to the setup explosion and uh, just uh, give them a frame rate. What is frame rate? It has to be frame rate from start and end timing. So I'm going to start with 7 frame. 
now let's see the render settings so this is there's nothing in it but after seven frame you can find out there's a fire inside of it that's perfect and more fire than smoke as i have told you before that after the fire there will have to be the place for the smoke and now smoke also will disappear gradually so furthermore we will have to increase something more and which is this my the pieces of this drum so because uh, when the bomb blast can take place every piece will going to destroy very fast so once again i'm going to go to the render settings i will just give them uh, render output and or maybe save path so i'm going to save this file as a render folder and just go to the inside of it and i'm going to go to the blast take png sequence okay but before that one thing you will have to make sure you will have to find range that how much your bomb blast can take place from 0 to 100 is my range okay so in the last i'm going to go to the object property of barrel and enable motion blur because when it will not be blur it will not look like a real blast so these broken pieces can be easily uh, blur let me show you with them with some um, single render what we'll have to do is uh, just place a target camera so we can at least we can see uh, the quick view of uh, our renders like this okay so now i will just uh, select my camera and set up my camera in the screen and you can see these are the bomb blast and blur parts of this okay so these are my 100 frames render one by one gradually everything is coming down side like this so what we will have to do just to play as a video you will have to go to the adobe after effects first so i'm going to go to the adobe after effects i will take my renders import my renders you can select any one frame so the entire reel will come out so you can see it will look like a movie or it will look like a video so guys i hope you like this tutorial and if you like this so i request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so i can give you more tutorials about this hope you like this goodbye